Okay, I got a request yesterday for reaction sequence stoichiometry. Reaction sequence stoichiometry. And so what does that mean? All right, so it's a complicated question. Turns out I think it's, it's not as difficult as it looks, I think. So there are two steps in the extraction of copper metal from, I don't even know how to say this, chalcosite or chalcosite, a copper ore. So that must be this, right? This must be chalcosite. All right, in the first step, copper two sulfide, in the first step, copper two sulfide and oxygen react to form copper one oxide, right here, and sulfur dioxide. Um, and then in the second step, copper one oxide and carbon react to form copper and carbon monoxide. All right, so suppose the yield of the first step is 67%. All right. 67%, 0.67, and the yield of the second step is 85%, 0.85. Calculate the mass of copper uh, one sulfide required to make nine kilograms of copper. Okay, so we've done reaction stoichiometry a lot, but now we've got to do uh, reaction stoichiometry with a percent yield. And it's a sequence, right? Okay, so let's do this. Let's come here and I'm gonna get rid of this. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this too. Okay, let's go back here and look at this. All right, so copper two sulfide, I'm gonna write the reactions out and, it's, and then we'll get rid of that layer. Okay, so first of all, it's two copper two sulfide. I'm just making notes and then I'll get rid of the, the other layer, okay? Two copper two sulfide. The state doesn't matter, so I'm gonna, to keep it clean, I'm gonna do this. Three O2 produces two copper one. Oh, that was copper one sulfide, sorry. Here's copper one oxide plus sulfur dioxide, all right? And in the second step, it's copper one oxide it's hard to say that while i'm writing it too gives two copper plus carbon monoxide all right and this is 67 percent and this is 85 percent okay and what i ultimately want in the end is nine kilograms of copper. Okay, now let's get rid of this layer. Okay. All right, so if I want nine kilograms of copper, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'll probably I'm going to introduce another layer here. And I'll go back to this one. I wish I could write in two layers at once. Let's go to this other layer here. And let's say, let's go to black. Keep things clean. I'm looking for nine kilograms of this, right? But I know this, that I'm um, looking for a mass, formula weight, and moles. Okay, we're gonna do the, the, this, this, this one first, okay? So, nine kilograms and the formula weight of copper is what? Let's come over here periodic table copper 63.546 and how many moles is that going to give us let me grab my calculator is here Uh, formula weight, mass, moles, make this a little bit bigger in case you want to see what I'm doing. The mass was 9 times 10 to the 3, and the formula weight was 63.546, is that right? 63.546, that's right, grams per mole. 
that's grams, this is grams per mole, this is going to be equal to that divided by that. It's going to be that many moles, okay, 142 moles. All right, so let's go back over here, and it's going to be 142 moles. Was that right? What a coincidence. It was so even. Oh, probably because of the formatting, right? Let's get another sig fig in here. Um, let's do let's do a couple of sig figs, okay? Okay. So it's 1.4163. 141.6. Let me go back over here. One forty one point six three, okay, moles of that is what I need, right? Now this is going to be a molar ratio. It looks like it's a two to one molar ratio here, right? So it's moles of copper to oxide. Copper two oxide, moles of copper. It looks like it's two to one, right? So whatever this is, I'm gonna call this X. That's X moles of that. But it's that, it's also, but don't forget, it's 85%. So it's that times 0.85, okay? So is equal to nine kilograms, right? So I'm gonna figure out what X is in terms of all of these things. And then we're gonna go, go backwards even further, okay? So this looks to be X times two, because this is a cross off, right? And this was moles. Oops, oops, it's not gonna be nine kilograms. It's gonna be 141.63, because it's moles of copper, right? Moles of copper. So it's that times two times 0.85 is equal to 141.63. So x is equal to 141.63 over 2 times 0 0.85, right? So this is how many moles of um, copper, two o copper 1 oxide that I need. I'm going to come over here, back here. I fortunately, I still have that on my calculator. So n copper oxide. Right? And that's going to equal, equal this divided by 2 times 0 0.85. Notice I put that in parentheses. So it's 83.312, right? See that? 83.312. Let's go back over here. That was that. That's the problem I did right there. This is 83.312. Okay? Now I'm going to go over to this layer. I'm going to write that again. 83.312. And I'm going to... <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. I'm going to get rid of... <coughs> I'm going to get rid of this layer. Okay? So what I need now, I know what I need. I'm going to go back to black. I'm in black. I'm now looking at this equation, okay? I need uh, moles, 83.312 moles of that. Formula weight, and I actually don't need the formula weight mass of that, right? Because we still have to go, this is ultimately what we're looking for. Well, ultimately what we're looking for is this, but we're gonna go from here to here by saying, 83.312 moles of copper one oxide is going to be equal to 83.312 copper one sulfide, right? That's ultimate that's that's what we're looking for. Copper one sulfide. I used X before, let's just use Y here. This is a, a two to two ratio, so it's the same. Right, you see that? But it's also 67% yield, right? So this is also times point, 
0 0.67, okay? So these will cross off, these will cross off. I'll be left with this and this. So what I know then is that Y is equal to 83.312 divided by 0 0.67, okay? So let's go back over to my calculator, which is, looks just like a spreadsheet now. This is moles of copper one sulfide is equal to 83.312 divided by 0 0.67. Okay, 124.345, 346, 124.346 is what I need. Come back over here, it's equal to 124.346. This, by the way, was my moles of copper oxide. Moles of copper sulfide then, 124 point, what was that again? 124.346. I got I have more sig figs than I need, but let's get 346. 124.346, okay? And the formula weight then, oops, I knew I was doing something wrong there. Uh-oh. I don't want that so big, sorry. How did I, how did I scroll down? So not really, I, I beg your pardon folks, I gotta figure out how to do this. Edit, image, scroll. Window, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't know how to scroll back up there, but let me, let me go here. Image, adjust, no. Folks, I gotta figure out how to get back up there, okay? Because I got my, it's copper two, I'm, I'm missing up in the screen there. Window, edit move select select all oh man oh man probably what i did was grab something here maybe i grabbed this yeah let's go there okay crud 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 all right. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Let's go. Let's go smaller. Sorry about that, folks. It's what a mess. All right. So you got what I'm doing here. So here's my copper two sulfides. What I need. That's many. How many moles I have? Now I got to find the formula weight of that. I never found the formula weight of copper two oxide, but I'm about to do copper two sulfide. Let me go back over here. I know what copper is, I'll get that in a second, but the sulfur is 32.06, okay? So the formula weight, copper two sulfide, is equal to two times copper, which was here, plus sulfide, which was 32.06, 159. Let me go back over and just check it real quickly. 32.06, that's right, that's sulfur, okay? Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna Google this real quickly. Molar mass, just because I wanna check it. 159.16, is that what I have here? 159.16, that's perfect, okay. So let's go back over here, get rid of that back over here 159.16 so if this is 159 if this formula weight is 159.152 then the mass of that is going to be the mass copper two sulfide is equal equal to the grams per mole times the moles right boom okay so that's grams 
So uh, I've got, um, that, I want it in kilograms, mass of this in kilograms, okay? This was the mass of this in grams. Okay, that's the mass in kilograms. It's gonna be equal to this divided by a thousand. Okay, so it's 19.779, 19.79. Let's go back over here. So that would be 19.79, okay? Now the last thing I gotta do is I gotta say how many sig figs do I have? So let's go back to the problem uh, here. There were two sig figs here, so it's probably two sig figs. There were, let me get rid of this other layer here. There were two sig figs, two sig figs, and two sig figs. So it's gonna be two sig figs, all right? So let's go back to the problem and go, all right, if that's the case, I need two sig figs here. That's not the layer I want, I want this layer here. No, not that layer. Two sig figs there is 20, right? Can you see it? 20.0. So let's go back over here and we're gonna put that in our answer. Yeah, I'm still here. And the answer is 20 kilograms. Uh, be sure I've got the right number of sig figs, that's right. Suppose the, the uh, mass of the first step is blank. Calculate the mass of copper sulfide. All right, and so it's that kilograms. All right. Um, before I put it in my answer, let's just go back. Before I check it, let's go back and re rem remember what we did, okay? Let's get rid of these two layers, bring this layer up. I wish I could scroll this thing down. All right. I'm not sure how I did that. All right. So what I got here is there's two steps in the extraction of copper metal. Fine, this one and that one. And this, we have such and such, and then we have this and this, okay? Suppose the yield of the first step is 67%. We got that. The yield of the second step is 85%. We got that. Calculate the mass of copper sulfide required to make nine kilograms of copper. So what I did was First thing I did was I took my this, right? It's what I needed, and I said, "Well, I need nine kilograms of that," and I and I've got I knew I've got this up here, so that's gonna be my my uh, segue right there, right? So let's figure out how many moles of this is mass of of, of copper. Let's figure out how many moles of copper it is, right? And then from that, let's figure out how many moles of copper one oxide, right? And then from that, let's figure out how many moles of copper one sulfide. And then from that, let's find the mass of copper one sulfide, right? But what I had to do was I had to worry about a percent yield. This was just a formula weight question. That was just a formula weight question. And this was just a formula weight question, right? We do that, molar mass, we do that all the time. But from here to here, I had to also figure in a molar ratio which is stoichiometry and yield. Wow, two things I had to worry about here and the same thing for this step. Molar ratio and yield. Okay, that's what I had to figure out. All right, so let's say let's uh I, let's let's go ahead and give our get some green here. It'll be our final reward. All right, very good. Okay, hope that's helpful. I will post this video, and so you'll have a little link over here. And next, well, when you hit explanation, you have a little link which shows me teaching uh, and that's that's hopefully going to be helpful all right best wishes